What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I want to talk about the best VPS hosting providers. Now if you're not familiar with VPS hosting, it's essentially a middle ground between shared hosting and dedicated server hosting and it's perfect for a bunch of users and it's suitable for growing websites, uh, e-commerce websites, web developers and designers, businesses and enterprises and anyone that expects to scale up their business as they go on. So yeah, VPS hosting serves as a great stepping stone if you're looking to scale up your website as your business grows. Now VPS VPS hosting offers a lot of flexibility, control, and resources than shared hosting, but it also requires a bit more technical knowledge to manage, especially if it's an unmanaged VPS. So as far as support, you're going to get all the customer support with HostGator, Bluehost, and Hostinger. So no matter which one you go with, the customer support will hold your hand throughout the process and help you out and troubleshoot if you have any issues. But as far as which one to go for, again, depends on your situation. The first thing you want to keep in mind is performance and uptime and uptime essentially refers to how long your website stays up during well whatever period of time so as you can tell for hosting you're here anytime it says hundred percent means that it stayed online for a hundred percent of the time during that month and typically you don't want to see anything below 99.98 or 99 percent otherwise it may result in a few hours of downtime and you don't want that but across the board throughout the year this is great overall so if you take a look at hosting it's actually doing the best as far as uptime. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five months with 100% uptime. Here we've got two months with 100% uptime and two with HostGator as well. Although the average with HostGator seems to be a little bit better than the Bluehost one because it seems like during the summer, it seems like Bluehost had some problems. Now, as far as features, I do like what Bluehost has to offer. It's very clean and they have probably the best customer service you can get but it is pretty expensive and as far as the features you can expect the same features in host gator as well let's just go all the way up here you'll notice that it's basically exactly the same with host gator but it's just a little bit cheaper uh, although bluehost i would argue does offer really good customer support whereas with host gator what they're offering for this price is well reliability and consistency in your service as you can tell now personally speaking i lean towards host Singer just because it's simply more reasonably priced and for that price you're getting a whole lot more resources so to me it's a no-brainer that i just go with hostinger it's cheaper and you've got more resources and yeah it's a great service overall especially when it comes to ease of use if you're looking for a service that's super easy to use i would say you can start with hostinger and i would say bluehost is next and then hostgator as far as usability and ease of use but yeah as far as features hostinger completely wins in this category it also wins in price it wins in uptime it wins in response time and in terms of security and support i think they're all relatively equal as well as usability i would say and that's not to say that hostgator and bluehost are not great they really are great providers and the features and security that you're getting is top notch especially the security you can't really doubt the security with bluehost and hostgator but to me personally if i were to make a recommendation or if i were to pick up a vps subscription from a provider it would be hostinger for sure specifically because it's again offering me everything and more at a cheaper price and that is what i'm going for but to sum it all up again they're all great web hosting providers if you're looking for something budget friendly and just a huge bang for the buck while offering very competitive performance and features compared to the other two hostinger is great while bluehost and hostgator are generally very reliable i still like to choose hostinger but again depending on your needs like storage bandwidth or the type of control panel you might prefer one over the other it's really up to you at the end of the day so that's pretty much it for this video again if you guys are interested in any of these you'll find the discounts in the description down below as well as the full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them and comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day